back. My name is Fizz. How y'all doing today? Thank you so much for joining me in Ark Survival Dev Kit. We're taking a look at the Dev Kit once again because it's been updated with a couple of new things. A couple of new things and a couple of old things and that, that has been tweaked. Now, I want to keep in mind that stuff on the Dev Kit can change and will change. And stuff on the Dev Kit might not even make it into the game. So, yeah, let's begin. So, first off, we've got these brand new wall trophies for the Dragon and the Ape Arena. And basically, they're uh, pretty much, they just cut their heads off. They're not really done yet, I don't think. Um, they're really humongous, as you can tell. They're like super, super big. But they're pretty cool trophies that you're going to be able to get. So, pretty cool. And also, there's a flag. Now, if we look at the flag, it looks like one of the old default flags that they used to have for the uh, survival of the fittest. Um, but basically, it's a dragon. There is not one yet for the ape. So we might be getting one. I don't know yet, but it's not in the dev kit yet. But it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's the same design and everything kind of as the uh, brew mother. <clears throat> so yeah, pretty cool. And uh, speaking of the arena, the dragon arena, if we come over here, actually has some new assets in it, which is kind of interesting. And um, there's no like actual arena quite yet, but it looks like they're working in progress on the uh, dragon arena. So if we take a look at this very, very small model now this is actually quite interesting if you look at this model the reason why if we've seen one of the old dev kit videos there's an actual lava arena like so and then it goes down like that so i'm wondering if this is the actual template for where you'll be able to fight the dragon itself like maybe you have to climb up the mountain or something and then you fight it in the arena area and then there's lava like maybe it flies around the entire mountain who knows who honestly knows but honestly it's pretty cool it's pretty cool design Obviously not textured yet, but it's also a very small model, so we'll have to see. Then over here, we have a kind of a bigger mesh model, which is not the same kind of model as that one. And when you move it, it actually changes its uh, its texture, which is quite interesting. Quite interesting indeed. But uh, yeah, this might be a backdrop model. Who knows? I mean, look, if you look at it from like back here, it looks like a small mountain, right? So if you're like a really small person right here right on the arena and you look at this it looks like a smaller mountain so we don't know yet but there's also a bunch of these other assets which is like some rocks a bigger rock some more rocks more rocks and then there's this a bridge now the brew mother arena has a bridge itself so maybe this is another kind of a bridge thing that you can fight the uh, dragon on one side and you spawn on the other who knows we don't know yet there's not much yet for the uh dragon but I'm, I'm really happy that there's actually like some work in progress that we have actually seen so it's pretty cool pretty cool indeed so yeah so that's the uh dragon arena and stuff and uh let's take a look at the other stuff Alrighty, as well as the titan itself actually has a platform saddle now keep in mind it's probably not scaled well or anything because i honestly just like put it on him I, I think i did a pretty good job on it but as you can tell this saddle platform saddle is humongous so let's take an example a bronto let's put a bronto on here okay how does that look for size comparison yeah does that make like a bronto saddle is pretty big right this is humongous now we take a tiny tiny little human tiny little human let's bring it we're way up here let's get rid of the bronto let's do a size comparison on how big the uh platform saddle is for the uh little human yeah so like i said this thing is so big now the one thing i really hope so on this is the building limit is insane like I want to be able to build an entire base on this. Uh, the Bronto one and the Monosaur and the Parasaur Ethereum, you honestly just can't build crap on it. It's really just like, there's not much you can build on it. But you can kind of build decently. But uh, I would love to see this this thing, you could just build anything, honestly. Like, maybe like 2,000 building blocks on that. It's, it's quite cool. So that is the Titan saddle for him, and uh, it's quite cool. Quite cool. Alrighty, next we have the new tech wall, which is actually quite interesting to say. I spawned in a sample of the wood and stone and metal, just for a size comparison. And um, as you can tell, the metal, the new tech one is actually quite thick. 
and I, I'm assuming it's going to be quite expensive, and I really hope it actually, like, if you power it up, it actually glows with these little blue, because there's a lot of little blue detail in it, so it'd be quite cool if it, like, kind of, like, pulses blue. It'd be quite cool, but uh, as you can tell, it's very thick. It's a very thick wall, but, um, it's quite quite cool another building material and i do have to say though it looks a lot better than the freaking metal one yeah a lot better than the metal one let's actually let's move this guy get a nice comparison so right now your metal one is your top tier so this is what everyone's top pvp base is probably is right now and uh it's quite different textures now the problem with the metal in my opinion is the lighting situation with it a lot of times it looks pretty much black and it's not, it's kind of like the dev, well, it's it's kind of like the Unreal Engine's lighting problem with the um the texture of the metal wall. So I'm hoping they'll kind of fix it with this tech wall. But overall, I think the tech, uh, tech wall is pretty cool. Pretty cool. But there's not, that's not it. There is also a teleport. Now, the teleporter is actually quite interesting, this teleportation. Um, are we going to be able to teleport across the map? Are we able to gonna teleport like across a room? Who knows? I honestly hope they kind of balance it out because if you have a massive PvP base on a PvP server and they have a teleporter that goes to every corner of the ARC server, they're basically going to rule the server. Now, we don't know if there's going to be like a cooldown on the teleporter or not, but overall, I think it's quite interesting and I love to hear your suggestions on how this is going to work in the uh, ARC environment itself because i think it's good i think it's a pretty cool topic to talk about because it could be doing a lot of stuff so yeah so that is it for the tech tier stuff just two added things a wall and a teleporter and uh it's quite cool all right so now we have the dinosaurs there's actually no new dinosaurs but there actually been animation fixes and other stuff so we can look at that so we have the buck tooth dinosaur his animations are pretty much done um, they're actually fixed. There's a couple clipping issues with his legs. Um, I'm pretty sure that'll be fixed in the future, but right now it's kind of a little broken than that. But this little guy, we'll take a look at him in a minute as well. He's got feathers now. Look at that. So cool. So cool. Now, as you can tell, there's a little bunch of blue lines. Those are mostly markings of uh, texture-wise. Um, it's obviously not done yet, but overall, he's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And the saber um, salmon actually has saber salmon no it's a saber tooth salmon or something like that <clears throat> he also has some animations as well so we'll also take a look at him but these guys I'm sorry they don't have any animations so yeah um these guys are all in the other dev kit videos well they he they, they do have animations i did them last time there's nothing new on them but I, I am going to show you guys the animations on this little guy because he's coming out next week so i might as well refresh everyone's animation wise and stuff because he's quite cool and i'm going to show you guys this guy as well again a lot of people have been asking me on his animations and stuff so i figured why not show you guys the animations um it's pretty much he's been in the dev kit for like two months or three months actually probably he's been in the dev kit the longest and he's just been stuck here like just stuck here so hopefully one day he'll be done and come to us in the art community so anyways let's go check out the uh animations of uh all the dinosaurs so first off we have the buck teeth long neck dinosaur which i don't really care about that much of the name um, but as you can tell, he's got some, uh, his animations are fixed now, so we can actually take a look at him. Because last time his animations were not working properly. So we can start with the foot stomp attack. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. Foot stomp left. Rear. Interesting. It feels like, um, oh that tail's too static. Then need to fix that. Yeah, his tail's not moving when he's uh, foot stomping. They must have forgot about the animations on that still. And tail attack. It's a, it's freaking, it's got to be a snap. Like, I, I swear, it, it better be a snap. Like uh, the whip, like I said last time. It's got the other one. Okay, cool. And we got charge forward. That's charge forward. That's so slow. Eat. Okay, pretty decent. Eating is pretty nice. Um, idle. Oh yeah, we already looked at idle. Laying an egg. Pretty decent. Not bad. Just walking around. 
I like how um I like how his neck like kind of curves. This is why they went extinct. They had some bad neck posture. Um, so their neck uh, when they got older, <laughs> their neck broke. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we got some more movement. Let's see. Uh, let's do swim forward. Very nice. So he'll be able to swim. Um, swim idle. Okay, when it's drowning. And now the Tolpor in. Very interesting. It feels um watch his watch these legs. They just slide. I don't know if that even happens, to be honest. In my opinion, this entire model should just go down to here instead of here. But, I mean, they're the animators. Animators, so. Teleport. Eat! <laughs> Me in the grass. I don't know what he'll be eating. Uh, let's see. Teleport. Wild. Yep, still some uh, bad bulk. Yeah, see, we got some problems still here. So he's not quite done yet, guys. But uh, I have faith in him fixing this problem right here. The clipping, very bad clipping problem we got there. And we got some pretty bad... Oh, oh my god, what happened to his leg? Oh my god, <laughs> look at his leg! What the hell? <laughs> his leg magically, like... Alright, um... Okay. Did someone not take anatomy for uh, animation of dinosaurs? Because that's not supposed to happen. Alrighty, and teleport tame. And he does like a little cute little animation when you tame him. Which honestly, I, I still think this should be the wild one. So like, it's like peeved off. Pretty much. Alright, so that's it for the buck teeth dinosaur. Animation still need to be fixed here and there. But uh, overall, it looks pretty good. And hopefully it'll be done pretty soon. So we can uh, have, uh, have it in the arc actual game. So on to the next one. Look at the salmon. Now, keep in mind, uh, textures aren't done or anything, but pretty much the animations are quite done, and they actually look pretty good. And um, he's a uh, pretty interesting looking, in my opinion. Yeah, it's not too bad. I wish I could see him in the uh, animations and color or textures and color, but uh, he's not done yet. So, let's begin, shall we? So, let me go find. Let's see, where is it? Do, 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 do. Let's see. We don't need any of those. All right. So we can do bite, attack. Big chomps. Look at him. Rawr, rawr. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. He's got a pretty good fighter. Alright, so he's got a cool animation when he dies. Look at this. Ready? I actually quite love this. It's so good. Like, it's so... Oh, it's really nice. I really like this. Now, you're probably like, oh, it's just him dying. It is him just dying. But the animation on it is just really, really th through it. Uh, I can't talk today. God dang it. <laughs> uh, fluent. There we go. That's the word. Fluent. So it's very nice. And then his death animation, which is basically him just swimming, you know, dead, floating there. Very nice. Very simple. Um, he's got an eat animation. Very nice. Very, very cool. He's got a big hurt. Not too bad. Um, heart right. And small hearts. Not too bad. And then he's got a swim and idle, which we've already seen. And then he's got a swim forward. Very nice. And he got the tollpour. Now, um, the people... I'm streaming right now for the recording of this video. And a lot of people, we were debating about why he has a tollpour... And I'm assuming is, I think every single dinosaur has a Tolpor. The reason why is just in case you actually, like, a scorpion or, like, something, like, actually just knocks it out. It, it still knocks it out, but it, I don't think it will be tameable, in my opinion. But it's, it still just has the Tolpor um, effects for it. And that's basically it. And... pretty much it so that is the salmon it's going to be coming out um the next week actually isn't it yeah may 3rd so we'll hopefully we'll be able to see this guy uh swimming in the uh oceans near your near your arc so yeah pretty cool so let's go to the next one we have this little guy now um 
pretty much textures aren't done yet and his feathers aren't done either because he's got a, like a lot of blue lines and stuff but overall his animations are pretty much done and uh, I think he looks quite cool now the cool thing about this guy is he actually has a glider and flying hang so it looks like you actually will be able to use this guy as like a glider kind of sorts but we don't know yet I don't know if it's official yet but uh, he's got a lot of animations so I guess we should start so we got the attack bite Look at him. Wow, it's really fast. Really cool. Oh, by the way, he's not a bird. He's actually a dinosaur. A lot of people thought he was a bird. No, he he, he looks like a bird because all the dinosaurs started with feathers and stuff. A lot of them did. And uh, that's how the birds evolved from dinosaurs. So that's his run, his charge. He's got die. <laughs> that's his die. Interesting. Why this guy has a de death animation? Interesting. Actually, that's pretty interesting. All right, eat. Very cool. Very cool. We've got the fly. Whoa! He's got noises. I don't quite know if he actually does fly, but I know he does hang gliding, and that's. It's pretty much the same animation, so it's probably not out. And then you got Glide. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. So that's pretty cool. That's really nice. That's really cool. Uh, big Hurt. Hurt right. Dancing. Small Hurt. <laughs> not too bad. And you got the Idol. What you got? Jump in. Interesting. Jump in. I wonder what that means. Jump out. So he's got a jump and land. So when he's flying, he does this to start flying. And then when he stops flying, he has the jump in animation, which is not bad. It's actually quite cool. Um, lay an egg. It's got a flick of the wrist with his tail. Flick of the tail. Flick of the tail. Move forward. Very casual move forward. Very nice. Um, swim forward. Oh, he <laughs> he's swimming with his feathers. Interesting. C cool. Swim idle. Tulpar in. We'll do Tulpar in. Oh, that's that's cute and adorable. That's actually quite nice. I actually like that. It just literally gets to the point. Boom. Down. Down he goes. Very nice. Tulpar eat. Very nice. And let's do Tulpar tamed out. Very nice. And wild tamed out. That's all right. That's pretty boring. I swear they should honestly switch these around because most of the time you don't actually see the tame because the stupid dossier pops up unless you tame a bunch of these guys. But overall, so overall, my final thoughts on this little guy. I think this is gonna be amazing, honestly. If he, if you can actually use him as a glider, meaning you can hold his like little legs and just glide down, I think it's gonna be so cool. And I've been really wanting a glider in Ark. Why haven't you guys made a glider mod yet? Dang it. Anyways, this is amazing. That's so cool. So let's check out the next one. So since the patch is coming out next week for this little guy, I was like, eh, well, let's take a look at him once again because they might have changed a couple things. And I think they actually did. I think they tweaked his animations a little bit and stuff. So he looks kind of cool. So let's begin, shall we? So we got the charge. Now, oh, no, we got the bite. So if you guys remember, this guy is hilarious. He is so funny. <laughs> Look at him. What an adorable little thing. Let me, uh, let me do that. Okay, there we go. Look at him. Um, as so, so cute. So adorable. We got the charge for it. Like, if you're getting charged by hundreds of these, it's just so funny. It'd be so terrifying. Actually, not really. They're probably super slow. We got the eat animation for him. Not too bad. Big Hurt. Now, depending if he's actually going to be the small, the Big Hurt should be him, like, flying off to the screen, being kicked or something. And then the small Hurt should be that, what's happening right now. So, it's pretty cool. We got the Idol. We've already seen that. Laying eggs. Pretty simple. Moving forward. Waddling. Pretty much waddling. Moving a startle. We'll do startle. Pretty cool. Tulpar eat. Actually, we do Tulpar in. Sorry. 
Very nice, very simple. Very cool. Then we got the toll part. Eat. Toll part idle. Quite simple. And toll port tamed. Or wild, sorry. And toll port tamed. Alright, so overall, not too bad. The animations are quite funny, in my opinion, with the, uh, what is it, the bite one? And the charge? <laughs> but yeah, so he'll be out next week, hopefully. Uh, he looks pretty done. So yeah, pretty cool. So uh, on to the next one. Alrighty, so now we got the Therosaurus. This guy's been in the dev kit quite a long time. And a lot of people haven't actually seen it, so might as well show you guys at the end of the video. So let's take a look, shall we? Do, 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 do. Let's do the claw. Let's do bite attack first. It's not too bad. We got the claw attack. I think I would probably be naming mine Wolverine. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Wolverine. The charge for it. That's pretty scary. That's pretty scary. Got the eat. Very nice. Looks pretty cool. Got the big hurt. Small hurt. Nah. Pretty simple. Pretty easy. We got the idle. We've already seen. Very nice idle animation. Laying an egg. Pooping out an egg. Pretty much. Uh, moving forward. So generally a walk situation. Very nice. We got a startled. Not too bad. Uh, swim forward. Ha. <laughs> How's he going to swim with these claws? It's quite interesting. Swim idle. And we got the toe port in. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's actually quite a good one. Not too bad. A lot of the dinosaurs have a really big problem with the toe port um, animations. Toe port eat. And toe port tamed out of wild. And tamed. Not too bad. So overall, um, I think he's a little wide. I think his head's a little bit wide. And I think his body might be, as well as his tail. So I wonder if they're actually trying to redo the entire model because they're not happy with it. Um, but it just looks weird right now. Maybe it's just because the, the feathers are not done yet. Like, they're not on there. And I think this is when they were first trying to do the new um, feather technique. So they're probably not going to do this, obviously. They're going to actually have, like, a whole bunch of feathers on this guy. But yeah, it's pretty cool. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the Dev Kit Showcase. Um, not too much. A lot of animations are done. A lot of stuff has been tweak tweaked in here and there. And uh, yeah. So if you guys like the video, leave a thumbs up. Like, share, comment, and tell me guys what do you think about this Dev Kit. And I'll see you guys on the next Dev Kit Showcase. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.